yung ano, yung may na-discover na ng gamot. Okay, saan na tayo? Ayan, sige, mabilis lang natin to. Sa so, Second Chronicles, yun yung sinasabi ko na si King Isaiah had leprosy unto the day he died. He lived in a separate house, leprous, and banned from the temple of the Lord. Jotham, his son, had charge of the palace and governed the people of the land. See? Kahit king, di ba? Nakaseparate siya. Hindi na siya pwedeng mag-associate dun sa, ano? Hindi na siya pwedeng mag-associate dun sa kingdom. Kasi nga, leper, leper na siya. Hanggang namatay siya, leprous siya. Siya hindi siya gumaling. And then, next verse natin is Sa atin, for the wages of sin is death. But the gift of God is eternal life in Christ Jesus our Lord. That's the result of sin sa buhay natin. Nagkasala tayo, we are sick, we are dead spiritually. Di ba? We believe in that. Wala tayong kabuhay-buhay. Di ba? Kapag halimbawa, kung di tayo deserve sa Panginoon, kung pera niyo yung buhay niyo ha, noong nandun kayo sa kasalanan, namumuhay kayo sa kasalanan, di ba? Feeling niyo parang walang meaning ang buhay? Parang trying hard lang, ano to, bukas ulit, ganito ulit yung buhay? Parang walang meaning. Ano? Miserable. Yes, miserable. Parang feeling mo, hindi natatapos yung problema. Parang feeling mo, kawawa-kawawa ka. Pero if you are in the Lord already, kahit may problema ka, carry lang. Amen. Hindi ka natang may problema. Amen? Amen. That's the wages of sin. Kabayaran ng kasalanan is kamatayan. Hindi man tayo physical. Yung leprosy, kamatay ang, ka, ang, ang, ang kabayaran niya pag may sakit ka is physically death. Mamamatay ka. Unti-unti. Pero sa sin, nagkasala ka ng paunti-unti. Ay, ng kaunti, eventually, hindi mo na mamalayan, spiritually dead ka na pala. Pag dati mo sa church, wala ka nang gana. Bless na bless na si Ate Lilia ito. Huh? Yung hindi ka na, na manhid ka na. na, na nasusundan niyo ako. That, that is what sin is doing sa buhay natin. Kung ikukumpara niyo siya, nang nagagawa ng leprosy sa buhay ng katawan ng tao. Next verse natin, kung di na lang promise. <laughs> Ephesians, 2, 1 to 6. As for you, you were dead in your transgressions and sins, and in which you used to live when you followed the ways of this world and of the ruler of the kingdom of the air, the spirit who is now at work in those who are disobedient. All of us also lived among them at one time, gratifying the cravings of our flesh and following its desires and thoughts. Kaya, sabihin niyo sa amin, di akong nagkasala. Meron? Meron? Di ba? Sabi dito? All of us also live among them at one time. Lahat tayo. Napagdaanan natin yan. And then, gratifying the cravings of the flesh. Kung ano lang yung gusto ng gusto natin. Ng katawan natin. Masarap kasi doon, Lord, eh. Aka-enjoy kasi yung ganbong kasalanan, Lord, eh. Pero, Ang sabi dito, like the rest, we were by nature deserving of wrath. So kaya, nararamdaman natin yung guilt. Minsan, ayaw ka magpunta sa church kasi parang feeling mo, hindi ka na kalapat dapat. Na alam mo, hindi ka tatanggapin ng Lord. Parang yan ang stereotype natin na ano natin, hindi ka pwede sa church. Di ba? Noong unang parang parang tatakot na pag makita mo yung, yung worship leader nyo sa church, parang nahihiya ka man lang. Nahihiya kang mag... Kapag... Kapag tawag nito, kapag makikita mo yung pastor ng church na yan, parang nahiya ka man lang mag-approach. Kasi parang feeling mo, ang dumi-dumi mo, hindi ako harapat-dapat. Naramdaman nyo yan? Yes. yes! Ako! Noon, nung hindi ko pa naiintindihan yung Christianity, kahit pinalaki akong Christiano. But you don't know me personally. Gano ko ka... I'm so blessed. You know, marinig ko si Pastor Stephen nag-testify. Can you see Pastor Stephen now? Kung ano yung nakikita niyo sa kanya, can you imagine him before sa kwento niya? No, right? Sino pa? Si Ate Lilia, ang habol ng ita. When she stands here, can you see that Lilia before in her? Hindi, di ba? Oo, di ba? Sino pa? Ate Alvi. Drag queen yan, drag queen. Drag? No, drag. Drag queen. Drag queen. <laughs> sorry po, sorry. Drag queen. Kung si Pastor Stephen is may story ng ganun, Ate Alvi also has that story. But thank God for His grace. Amen. 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 We were by nature deserving. deserving of breath. Hindi mo lang pwede, ay, mas masama siya sa akin. 
ay siya mas masama. No, lahat tayo. Iba-iba kasi tayo ng feelings ang ginagawa sa buhay. Iba pa tayo mga, mga, mga habit, <laughs> alam yun. But walang nakaligtas sa atin. Amen po ba? Amen. But because of His great love for us, God who is rich in mercy made us alive with Christ even when we were dead in transgressions. It is by grace you have been saved and God raised us up with Christ and seated us with Him in the heavenly realms in Christ Jesus. So those who are Christ, uh, those who are people now living in, in sin, they are considered dead spiritually. But the moment now we receive the Lord Jesus Christ and His grace, binuhay tayo ni Lord, parang magay tayo ng leper na wala nang pag-asa. Diba? Parang nasa dead situation na ng buhay nila, wala nang hope, wala nang future. Pero dumating yung gamot, nagkaroon sila ng pag-asa sa buhay ulit. And then, number four, tapos na tayo. Leprosy needs healing. So does our sin needs forgiveness. So does our soul needs salvation. So sa Leviticus 14, 15 to 19, sabi dito, the priest is to take some of the blood of the guilt offering and put it on the lobe of the right ear of the one to be cleansed. On the thumb of their right hand, on the big toe of their right toe, right foot. Tingnan nyo yung detail, detalyadong ano nila, ang tawag nun? Uh, ceremonia. And then, the priest shall then take some of the log of oil, pour it in the palm of his own left hand. Priest, dip his right ping, four, four fingers into the oil in his palm, and with his finger, sprinkle some of it before the Lord seven times. So like, ganon, seven times, okay? Tinalo niya. Okay? And then, um, saan tayo yan? The priest is to put some of the oil remaining in his palm on the lobe of the right ear of the one to be cleansed. Right ear, and then on the thumb of the right hand, and on the big toe, right, right foot, on top of the blood of the guilt offering. The rest of the oil in his palm, the priest shall put on the head of the one to be cleansed and make atonement for them before the Lord. And the rest of that, ibubuhos sa ulo ng tao. That's cleansing. Ano ba yung signifies ng, ng, uh, anong tawag ito? Kasi sa, before that, before that verse, nakalagay doon, ang, kukuha ang pa, ang priest ng lamb, male lamb, the laughing lamb, at papatay, yun yun mo yung blood na to, kukunin, so the priest to take some of the blood out of that male lamb. So male lamb is si baby, baby sheep na lalaki, kukunin yung dugo. Diba lamb? Sino yung nag-represent ang lamb? Jesus. Jesus. Kung titignan natin, yung, yung ginagawa nila na to is foreshadowing. Ano yung foreshadowing? Yung binapaliwalag ni pastor sa atin, foreshadowing. Yung mangyayari in the future, nangyari sa kanila. The lamb, the blood na inisprinkle, inamit nila dyan is representing Jesus Christ. And the oil is the Holy Spirit. That's what happen, happens when we receive the Lord Jesus Christ. We also receive the Holy Spirit in our lives. Amen? Amen. Ang ganda no? Ang ganda nung paralleling nila. It has to be done. Alam niyo ba kung bakit ito kailangan? Yan yung cleansing na. One of the process of doon sila sa kanilang quarantine room, meron silang own process of healing. So kapag alam nila na magaling na sila, lalapit sila doon sa priest, at din sasabihin na sa priest na magaling na ako. Then, check sila ng priest. After na ma-check sila, i-quarantine sila for 7 days. After 7 days, then cleansing happens. Ito na yun. Kailangan ng gumawa ng seremonya. And then declare to the people that this person is already clean. Ganun din tayo. The Lord Himself will declare us. The Holy Spirit itself, Himself will be the witness that we are children of God. Amen. 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 ibang verses. Yan ang gusto gawin ng Panginoon sa atin. Gusto niya tayong ayusin. 
if there's anything sa buhay natin na feeling natin, Lord, maliit lang naman makasalaman niyo. But be careful. Okay? We have to be careful. I also, alam niyo kagabi nung, aha, kagabi nung nag-aaral nag, nag, ako, talagang sa Lord, I'm heavy, pero blast na blast ako. Yak ako nang yak sa Lord, I don't know who needs this, but maybe you don't need it now, but in the future. Simple sin, huwag nating laruan. Huwag nating balawalain. Kasi it might conceive, sabi doon sa verse natin kanina, yung sin, yung konting sin, huwag mo sabihin si Lord ang nagbigay sa'yo ng temptation. No, you are drawn away by your own lust, desire, entice. Ginusto mo yon. Simple lang yung una. Crush lang naman. <laughs> Hindi nga sa'yo. May nagrasaan mo. Pera, pera ni Amo yan, di yan sa'yo. Pinag-tripan mo, binili mo ka ng milk tea, di ba? So, nag-doble-doble na. I'm not preaching just you. Huwag niyo sabihin na, tuwid ka. Di ba? I'm also telling myself, kasi hindi dapat natin nilalaroan ang kasalanan. It also contagious. Baka ikaw, hindi sa yung kasama mo, madala mo sa Panginoon, nahawaan Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, the new creation has come. The old has gone. The new is here. Amen. Diba? Kung yung dati, maglaad ka kasi alam mong may kisalanan ka, you feel so so unworthy, yuyuko ka. Parang marinig. You're not shouting that I am sinner, but the gesture, the way you project yourself, actions you is not. Exactly. Wala mong natatanong sa'yo, pili mo guilty ka na. Wala ka wala ka kaalam kung ano ginagawa mo sa buhay mo. Pero bakit mo yung mong feeling of guilt? Huwag na natingin na, di ba? Di ba? Same thing, hindi ka ba nag-declare na I'm unclean, I'm unclean, mga salanan ako gagawin natin, challenge natin. Di ba? Hindi natin, hindi mo gagawin yun. I'm just imagining the situation ng mga nevers before. Guys, meron pa siyang isang sabi sa history. Pag noong panahon, leper ka, tatawagin kang leper, disrespectful yun sa kanila. Bawal mong sabihin, ha, ah, you're a leper? Hindi pwede. Dapat sabihin mo na, uh, oh, you're infected, um, you're infected pala ng leprosy. Huwag mong babanggitin yung word leper itself. Kasi very, ano daw yun, parang humiliating masyado sa kanila. Music